Timescape. It's a time distortion episode, and that means it raises just so many questions about how the Star Trek universe works. But right now, I don't care about the implications of force fields that separate you from time, or being able to reverse the flow of time, or that the fact that an alien species uses black holes as incubators might have something to do with their intense time dilation effects. Right now, I care about Captain Picard's fingernails. There's this bowl with a temporal distortion around it, and his hand is in it for a maximum of five seconds. I assume it's probably less since it was causing him a lot of pain and he probably withdrew it below the camera, but between when we saw him put it in and when he raised it again was five seconds. And in those five seconds, we see his fingernails have grown quite substantially. Drawing data come in, they scan Picard in the area around the bowl, and they agree time was moving at approximately 50 times its normal rate. That means Captain Picard's fingernails grew at least half an inch in the equivalent of 250 seconds. I mean, just, like, wow. Half an inch of growth in about four minutes is kinda crazy. For average adults, the rate is more like a tenth of an inch per month. This implies that Picard's nails grow 5,400 inches in a 30-day month. That's 450 feet, or 137 meters. So it would take Picard seven and a half hours for them to be as long as Patrick Stewart is tall. Four and a half months to grow his nails out to the length of the ship. I guess he just keeps his nails in his stasis field most of the time. We don't see him clipping them every 20 seconds. Maybe the transporter's continuously beaming away the excess? But then, what happens in episodes where he's stranded somewhere? I just have so many questions, and somehow I don't think the upcoming Picard Season 2 will answer them. But then, does Golem Picard even grow nails? I don't know. But it keeps me up at night.